10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Good luck, studio. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello. Okay, bring the mic over. He's ready to record. Hello. It's the quiet ones you've got to watch, you know. Is it metaphorical? Is it is it deep? Is it deep? Good boy. He's not all that shy. Right. Blimey, It's the Shy Life Podcast. Six hundred and thirteen. Bonjour et bienvenue au podcast The Shy Life. Hello and welcome to get another episode of The Shy Life Podcast with me, Paul the Shy Yeti. How are you doing? Oh, I'm all right. Um, yeah, uh, what are we doing this episode then? Uh, well, it is, it's, you may not have noticed, but it's Valentine's. Um, day or near enough I'm not sure when this episode will be going out but anyway that's what the episode is going to be about uh, a Valentine's day doodah needless to say it doesn't involve me um, but well I mean I did get one or two cards but only because that's um, what I arrange with <laughs> at least one or two of my friends that would always send each other cards so whether we get any or not we always get at least one or two but uh anyway uh, as you remember last year uh it turned out that Bettina and August had slipped away into the night and got married in Vegas um we didn't find out until afterwards uh but this year it, it's a little bit different we do have two regulars going on a date but uh well, you can probably guess who. You might be able to guess who. Depends if you've been listening. <laughs> um, OK, let's run that theme music. When we come back, we'll let you into more of what went on. OK, run that theme music. Darling, it's the Shy Life Podcast. <laughs> yes, but well, it's a positive thing, Paul. The High Life, the Shy Life. You won't find a cast of characters like this everywhere. Hello, Paul. Um, and I'll, I'll tell you anyway, I'll tell you Delicious. Hello, Captain. How are you? You quite like a big fan, don't you? <laughs> Go Shy Yeti. Oh, my God, he hasn't found out my secret. I think he has. If you thought that was bad, just listen to this. Yeah, I am strangely drawn to Yeti and John's ankles as well. <laughs> but has the Shy Life podcast slowed down? I don't think so. It's all gooey and easy and yum, 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 yum. Has anyone seen my hot sausage? <laughs> Wait, it's the Shy Life Podcast. <laughs> I'd like that. Yeah. <laughs> Marvellous. Marvellous, Paul. Hi there. So, listeners, um, I mean, uh, I'm sure you'll, you'll, you'll hear about this date. Um, we might even talk to the, uh, well, I don't know. It's, it's almost like a first date. I mean, they kind of had a first date. Um, but it was, well, it was more coming over for tea. I think this is definitely a date. Um, if you don't know who I'm talking about, I'm talking about Tallulah and Reginald, Reginald Pipes, who is uh, the guy who turned up in Yeti Uncle John's magpie hut at the start of the year. Uh, he, he had nowhere to to stay, and, and Yeti Uncle John ha- has let him stay. I mean, he's been there over a month now. They get on really well, which is, is nice, but I think it's partly because Yeti Uncle John, you know... He's always happy to have somebody there to help him out. And I think Reginald has probably been mucking out the magpies, uh, which isn't a job that Yeti Uncle John enjoys. I mean, understandably, but typical Yeti Uncle John. Give the uh, give the horrible jobs to somebody else. But, well, I guess Reginald, um, he uh, is glad of having somewhere to stay, although he's, he's very popular around here, well, by most people. And um, I haven't got space in my flat because I've got Cromarty and... Um, Yeti Uncle John some nights and Toby and Cuthbert and Dealey and I'm not sure if Eek's offered in room. Um, oh, well, Tallulah has, even before she uh, realised that uh, she, she uh, had her eyes on him. Now, I think it's a genuine connection. They both seem to like each other. But if you remember, we had the the magpie naming ceremony a few weeks ago 
and Bettina did a um, uh, like a, a fortune telling thing, and in which she predicted that Tallulah would date somebody whose name began with R, and then she met Reginald and thought, oh, it must be him. Which I mean, Bettina's no expert a fortune teller, but um, well, I mean, they do seem to get on. It's like they've known each other years. It's, it's weird. It's nice. Um, I haven't seen a lot of it in action, but I'm, I'm just saying what I've heard. But uh, anyway, um, we're going to go for a little walk in a minute, you and I. Uh, we're going to pop in in the Magpie Hut, see Yeti Uncle John. <laughs> Yeti Uncle John and Cromarty are, they're kind of being quite cute. They're really keen that Reginald have a nice day. Um, Cromarty's doing his hair and, and making sure he's smart. And Yeti Uncle John's pacing around like an expectant mother, I think. But um, it is is kind of cute. Um, then I'm going to head over to Ix. Um, could be a bad idea. I, I just wanted to make him feel part of Valentine's. Um, I don't know. So, well, it, it, it's silly. You'll see. Um, and then Yeti Uncle John's going to pick up Tallulah and Reginald and take them off to some nice restaurant somewhere. And then maybe we'll hear how it went at the end um, of the episode. But, uh, you know, sometimes Valentine's can be a bit much. But sometimes when it's happening to somebody else who you care for, it's kind of nice to see, you know, to to see things working out. I mean, I'm very, I very much, I very much love Tallulah. She, she, she's been through quite a lot, although she just bounced back. You'd never think she'd been possessed by some weird demon up until you know, uh, episode 600. Um, but, uh, yeah, and, and Reginald, you know, he's fallen on bad times. His uncle John has has done a good thing. He's done a really good thing helping him out. Uh, that makes me happy. Um, and, uh, yeah, to see those two come together, yeah, even a cynical person like me, it, it makes me smile. It makes me, it makes me happy. Yeah. Uh, so, um, so we're going to go and have a wander over to... Oh, now the phone's going. Sorry, listeners. Hello, Paul the Shayetti, how can I help? Hello, darling, it's me. <laughs> Bettina, how are you? Oh, hi, Bettina, how are you? Happy Valentine's Day. Are, are you celebrating this year? Of course we are, darling. It's our first wedding anniversary. Oh, yes, of course, yes. Um, are you, are you going somewhere? Well, you know, uh, yes, we are. Uh, in fact, uh, we're about to head off to um, St Pancras to catch the Eurostar to Paris. Oh, marvellous. Oh, that's nice. Oh, take me with you. Oh, darling, we'd love to, but uh, but no. <laughs> no, I don't expect you to. Um, uh, so, yes. Oh, that's lovely. How long are you there for? Oh, about um, four days. Just holiday, no no film conventions or anything? Oh, no, darling, no, nope, totally holiday. Oh, I'm going to show him around for my favourite haunts. He knows Paris a little bit, but not as well as I do. Oh, nobody knows Paris as well as you do, Bettina. I know, oh, so chic. We're going to bump into a couple of friends of mine. Um, yes, oh, it'd be lovely, but we'll, we'll have plenty of time to ourselves. Well, I hope the weather stays nice. Seems kind of a bit like early spring from what I can see out the window. Yes, darling, yes. I think it'll be lovely. The weather is forecast to be beautiful. Oh, well, that's cool. I'm glad to hear it. Um, just calling to check in or...? I, I just wondered what you'd heard about this big date, you know, with Tallulah. I know August's fascinated, but uh, he doesn't like to ask. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it's not just August that's fascinated, eh, Bettina? Oh, gosh, well, I want everything to go well. But, uh, you know, this Reginald, he's OK, isn't he? Oh, he seems to be. He's been living with Yeti Uncle John for the last few weeks. And, I mean, they do seem to get on very well. They uh, they met at the magpie naming ceremony. Um, we caught them having a cup of tea together, you know, the other day. And it's now we've got this romantic date. It's kind of, it's kind of cute. It is kind of cute. Oh, golly, I can't wait to hear about it. I hope it goes well. Uh, are you guys um, involved? Well, I, I'm not really involved at all. Yeti Uncle John and Cromarty are making sure he's all smart. If your Uncle John's picking Tallulah up and taking them to this, you know, taking them to this restaurant. Um, no, I mean, I don't think 
I don't think Eek's involved in any way. No, he wouldn't be. Is he still being grumpy? Yeah, pretty much. Um, well, he seems fine with Yeti Uncle John and fine with, like, Martin and Tallulah. But, yeah, well, he pretty much insulted Cromarty. Uh, he said some horrible things about Milo and... Uh, Which may or may not be true. Well... Milo's a friend of mine, but I'm not sure he's best suited to poverty. But, but you know, uh, um, still, you don't say that sort of thing. Well, you know, it likes being brutally honest at the moment, doesn't he? He most certainly does. Um, so, yeah, Cromarty's not talking to Ick. I don't know about Ick. Um, and I don't know. Ick's sort of talking to me, but very passive-aggressively. I'm, I've am i got a little surprise for him, but I, I, I don't know if it'll work out. He'll probably manage to turn it into some sort of insult. Oh, dear. Oh, golly. Any more news, you know, um, any more developments? Uh, August and the, you know, the box. Well, I know we've opened the box, but... Uh, oh, the Queer Cove, you mean, darling? Well, I guess we're sort of at the point where, uh, well, I either need to speak to him about it directly or I'm, I'm so tempted to go in disguise, darling. Do what? Go in disguise to the Queer Cove. Oh, I don't know about that. I don't know if that's a good idea. Well, I mean, we could go together, maybe. You could pose as a friend of mine. But you'd have to dress down. You're, you're usually ever so glamorous. I can do dowdy, darling. I don't believe it, Bettina. I, I don't believe it. No, no, honestly, I can. I can, you know, I, I, I've done it. I've done it in films. Yeah, but Hollywood dowdy is usually still quite glamorous. Oh, well, I've never been in a Hollywood movie, but, uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'm all European art cinema, darling. Yes, yes, of course. Um, uh, well, let's get this out of the way and think about it when you come back from Paris. We need to think what the next step is. I mean, we do know more than we used to, but we've also got more mysteries than we, we had. So, you know... Isn't it just the way, darling? It is. Anyway, let me know how things go. I will. Uh, sure will be fine. I'm sure they'll have a lovely time. Oh, it's so lovely how you're all, you know, crowding around them and helping. Well, you know... Robert and Yeti Uncle John are. I'm, I'm being obviously supportive, but, but more to distance. Oh, well, that works too, darling. All right, then. I've got to go. Um, yes. Um, I'll bring you back something from Paris. Please do, but not frogs or snails. I've had, I've had them before and once is enough. Well, I think I've had snails twice. No, no, I could do something more, <laughs> more chic. Okay, whatever you, uh, whatever you think's appropriate. Um, have a great time. Come on, Bettina, we've got to go. The taxi's here. Oh, darling, I've got to go. I'll speak to you soon. All right, uh, speak to you soon. Um, so I'm up to August. Hi, August. Oh, we can't hear you, dear. OK, bye for now. Goodbye. Bye, Bettina. Oh, that's nice. Paris. Paris is always good. It's been a while since I went to Paris. I mean, I used to go to Paris quite a lot. I don't think I went into the 90s. But I went in the 90s a few times, and I went in the noughties a few times, and I went in the 10s, at least the early 10s, quite a few times. But it's probably getting on for 10 years since I last went to Paris. Um, hmm. I always used to like going up the Eiffel Tower. The last few times I went, I went with people who didn't like heights, and even though you know, you're perfectly safe at the top of the Eiffel Tower. In the early days, I used to go, I never seemed to have problems with waiting for queues for the lifts, or if you if you were prepared to walk up, at least you know to the first level, then you could just head on up. I I know I did that at least once. I couldn't do that now, um, but yeah. Hmm. Anyway, listeners, we need to head over to Yeti Uncle John's, and um, yeah, uh, and uh, so maybe I don't know a clip, a quiz, some music. I'm not sure. Um, I'll, I'll work that out later, but uh, anyway, have a listen. And when we come back, we'll be at the Magpie Hut. Okay, uh, have a listen.
how is the uh, the, 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 the lover lover man what do you mean Paul I'm sorry I didn't know what to say I ran out of things to say I wasn't quite sure how to describe Reginald oh the lover lover man well don't say that to his face it makes him feel self conscious oh, I, w- I wouldn't want to do that how, how's he doing he, he's just having a little sit down before your uncle John takes him to meet Tallulah has anyone spoken to Tallulah Oh, I gave her a call um, a little while ago. She seemed fine. Oh, yes, darling. I'm fine. I'm just getting ready. I can't wait. And yet Uncle John will be here uh, just before noon. Is that right? I can't wait to see him. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, so a lunchtime date. I mean, that's kind of better, really, isn't it? Oh, yes. Nobody wants to be going out at night. Not at this time of year. It's much nicer to go out in the day. You might even get a little bit of sun. Anyway, I think it puts more pressure on things if it's a, a late night thing. Um, no, no, a lunch lunch date. A lunch date is just right, I think. And have you heard where they're actually going? Um, some, uh, I think there's a restaurant uh, called uh, called Kapow over in Weybridge. Kapow wouldn't have anything to do with Kapow taxis, would it? Well, yes, I think so. I think it's owned by the guy who runs Kapow taxis, Freddie Kapow. Freddie Kapow. I had no idea that Kapow was the surname of somebody. You learn something new every day, don't you? Yes, you do, Paul. But don't worry. It, it's a good restaurant, I hear. You wouldn't have anything shoddy in, in Weybridge. It's quite posh over there. It is quite posh. Not been in a while. What sort of food does this Kapow restaurant do? Well, I think it's a mixture. You can get Italian, pizzas, pasta, or you can get curries. I think you can have Chinese, um, Spanish, like paella and things. Um, I think there might even be a buffet. Ooh, a buffet. Now you're talking. Hey, we better go. <laughs> can we go with them? No, Paul, we can't go on their date with them. Uh, I think we need to go to Kapow restaurant, though. Uh, mm, sounds nice. Um, I wonder if we can get a discount. The oh, Paul. Well, I guess we could go sometime. Well, when's your birthday, Cromarty? I have no idea. You've never told anybody where my birthday is. Well, you should know when your own birthday is. I stopped celebrating many years ago, Paul. Oh, that's sad. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll go as soon as we can afford it, and, and we'll just say it's your birthday. Oh, I don't know. People with birthdays on this show, it usually ends badly. Look what happened with Ick and uh, uh, Bettina and yourself and, you know, everybody who has a birthday. Something bad happens. Okay, well, we don't have to go for birthday reasons. We can just go for other reasons. Well, maybe. What are you two talking about? Oh, we're we're just talking about the restaurant you're taking them to. Oh, yeah, it's Kapow in Weybridge. I had no idea that uh, this uh, Freddy Kapow, um, the guy who runs the taxi firm, I didn't realise he had a restaurant as well. Oh, yeah, Freddy. Yeah, yeah. He's uh, quite a elusive character. You don't often see him. But, uh, yeah, I just thought it was, you know, how taxi firms often either have names that begin with an A, like AAA taxis, so that they can be right at the front of the phone book. Phone book, Paul? <laughs> what decade do you live in? Well, even on online, you know, if you search for taxi, it still... You know, things up alphabetically. Well, I guess so. But that does not apply to Kapow. No, 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 it doesn't. Um, yeah, but I, I was going to say, most taxi firms have like, these funny names or or they have something like Kapow that sticks in your mind. I didn't realise it was the name of the, the guy. Yeah, yeah, well, I've been able to arrange a, a slight discount, so that's nice. Oh, have you? I did wonder. Good, well done. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm nervous for him. It's like he's my own child or something. Oh, I want it to go well. Oh, you get Uncle John. He can't be your own child. He's probably your age, if not older. No, uh, but I could, I could have adopted him or something. Oh, yeah, he's, he lives in my house. I'm concerned for him. Yeah, well, he's only lived in your house for about a month. Is it only a month? It seems much longer. Well, I guess it, it could be six weeks. Um time does fly yes it does well now what about you yet uncle john have you got any plans for valentine's any plans for valentine's this is my plan helping reginald with his valentine's date well yet uncle john you're always thinking of somebody else 
It's very commendable. I oh, know, very commendable. I suppose I could arrange a date, short notice. I've got one or two people in my little black book, but I don't know if I'm in the mood. I'm just going to be too nervous. <laughs> yes, yeah. And what about you, Paul? Uh, I've had a had a Valentine's card from, from Whitey Joe. That's that's all I require. Oh well, it's good. It's good. She's a she, she's dependable. That Whitey Joe. She is. Yes. Um, and Comity. Are you seeing Milo? Uh, I, I think he's too busy. We'll probably catch up at the weekend. Or, or if not this weekend, then next weekend. Or the weekend after. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, um, did you uh, did you get anything from him? Chocolates or flowers? Oh, no, no, no. We don't do things like that. I mean, well, I, I did send him chocolates, but... No, no I, I don't expect anything back. I, I like to give presents. I uh, don't need to receive them. Anyway, I better go and see if Reginald's ready, because uh, you're going to have to leave in about five minutes, said Uncle John. Oh, yeah, the time's going on, isn't it? Yeah, all right, Comity. Where, where are you off to next, Paul? Don't need a lift anywhere, do you? No, I'm heading over to Ix. Have you seen him recently? Uh, I popped over for some sugar the other day. Oh, for your tea? No, the magpies just like sugar. Uh, they, just, they just stick their beaks in. And... Oh, that's, I don't think that's good for them, is it? Uh, well, I don't know, maybe not. But anyway, yeah, so I saw him the other day. I mean, he's very pleasant with me. Just you and Cromarty, but I understand. I don't agree with how he spoke to Cromarty about... Uh, Milo, that, that's bad, that's wrong. Yeah, well, I mean, he's being fine with me. Um, I've, I've, I've got a little surprise for him. I don't know, it could it could go either way. Oh, what, in that bag you're carrying? Yes, oh, just a, a little sort of... Well, I'm not saying it's Valentine's. Oh, yeah, you don't want him to think you're coming on to him. No, I think it knows me well enough to know I wouldn't be coming on to him. Not that there's anything wrong with it, I just... I, it's just... It's just not my type. Yeah, well, uh, well, so you bought him some, some chocolates? Some, some, some chocolates and a, a bottle of wine. I, I was going to say it was because there'd been an episode that he was in uh, that had got really high downloads or something. And is that true? Mm, not really. Not particularly. Still, I needed a reason. Uh, in the Uncle John, I'm probably going about this all the wrong way. Well, yes, in a way, you are probably still. Uh, uh, I'm concerned about poor old Cromarty, though. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You know what he was saying about buying Milo presents and Milo not buying him presents and that it didn't matter. He bloody does matter, Paul, I think. Uh, Cromarty should be treated like a princess. Yeah, I know, I agree. And I know he'd like to be treated like a princess, but... <sighs> well, what can you do? Oh, well, apparently the fortune teller said that their days were numbered. I don't think she quite said that. She sort of said that they might not spend quite as much time together. But, well, that's different. But that could lead to them coming back stronger. You are very positive today. thought you were the cynical one. Well, I, I know things don't really usually work out quite that way, but... Uh, anyway. Oh, here they come. Well, you drive safe, won't you? Yes, I will, Paul. Plumbing eight. Thought I was being all mumsy today. Well, I can be mumsy over you guys. And you're driving, can't I? I guess so. Hello, Paul. How are you? I'm all right, Reginald. How are you? Looking forward to your dinner date? Your, well, your lunch date? Yes, it'll be lovely to see Tallulah again. Oh, yes, she's a very lovely lady. Very lovely. Yes, she, she is. <laughs> well, um, well, you have a, a nice time, and uh, let's know how it goes. Oh, I will, of course. Right, well, we better get going. You're going to head across the, the heath to the UFO, are you, Paul? I am, so yes, you can't give me a lift. Uh, Yeti Uncle John, can I come with you both um, <laughs> in, in the car? I, I, I want to see how Tallulah is. Yeah, yeah, it's right, isn't it, uh, isn't it, Reginald? Oh, yes, that's fine. Is he going to get you some chips after you've dropped them off at the Uncle John? Oh, now that sounds good. But don't worry, Reginald. We won't have fish and chips in, in Weybridge. We'll go to Addiston or something. Oh, well, you know, we won't even know. We'll be too busy having our own date. Well, well I mean, this isn't a date. 
with, with, with Yeti and Pajan. Uh, no, no, it's, it's not, not a date, Reginald. Oh, really? I thought you two got on really well. Well, we, we do, but we, we, I mean, well, <laughs> well, maybe it is a date. <laughs> well, why not? <laughs> oh, well, everybody have fun. I'm heading off across the heath. All right, Paul. See you later. Send my love to Tulela. We will. Yes, yes, we will. Yes, of course. Come on then, guys. <laughs> uh, see you later, magpies. Uh, listeners, I'm going to head across the heath. Um, a clip, some music, some barks. I'm not sure. I won't take that long, so maybe maybe just some music. All right. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll be there soon. No surprise. Yeah, it is. Nice surprise. <laughs> nice surprise, yes. Actually, I've got company, but it's okay. Come in. Oh, who's here? Ark? No, no, he's, he's away. Um, he's on, well, I lose track. He's doing a ukulele tour. A ukulele tour? Things are going really well for him with that ukulele. Yes, yes. Not just him, though. All his friends. You know, they play like a jewel. Everyone playing at once. It's quite something. I imagine. Seems to be going down very well out uh, in space. Oh, yes. Absolutely. Uh, hello, Paul. Oh, Martin. Huh. I-, I-, I wasn't expecting you. Uh, you're, the- you're the guest. Yes, Martin is the guest. Just pop round for coffee. Oh, that's good. Um, yeah. Where have you been? Just happen to be passing? Well, no, I was actually coming to you. I should have really called. You might have been out. I'm very rarely out. I'm just usually sitting here, looking out the window and crying. Oh, he's joking, Paul. Well, I only cry on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. Oh, uh, uh, well, you know, you know, we should do more. We should do stuff, it, you know. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm busy editing, but uh, um, I, I do have time. I know, Paul. You're very busy. Yeah, well... Did you pop in on Yeti Uncle John? You should have brought him over. Oh, well, um, there's a story. It's Valentine's Day uh, today, uh, as you, you probably know. And, um, well, uh, uh, you know Reginald Pipes? Hmm, Reginald Pipes. Well, of course I know all about this business. Martin's been telling me. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, I've just been talking to Ig, asking his advice. Oh, um, yeah, actually... Martin, what are you doing here? <laughs> what do you mean? I thought you'd be helping Tallulah get ready. Uh, no. No, she wanted some peace and quiet. She didn't want me around there fussing over her. No, no. But Martin's just come to talk to me. Uh, about the whole matter. 
Uh, yeah. Uh, um, uh, they're going to have a good day, I think. And what, uh, uh, as uh, I, I was sort of saying, it's Uncle John's uh, helping um, Reginald get ready. He looked very smart. I forgot. I didn't know what I even said. He looked really smart. Um, I should, listeners, I feel bad. I should have said. He, he was all in bow tie and, yeah, God, I, want, I feel stupid. I mean, he'd been having a rest in the back of the magpie hut. And when he sort of came out, he was wearing a coat and I could only just see it. I didn't really see the full smartness, but he really, Cromarty had really smartened him up. Oh, Cromarty, he was helping too. Yes, he was, he was doing all the hard work. And, uh, uh, yeah, I'm surprised he didn't come to my house. I mean, surely Reginald needed a, a wash or a bath before he went out. And, and you can't do that in the magpie hut. Um... He went for a dip in the canal, Paul. A dip in the canal? God, I wouldn't want to go in there. I don't know, maybe his younger John hosed him down or something. It's a bit cold for that. Ah, uh, yeah, it's a bit cold for being hosed down. Uh, yes, yeah, yeah, it is. Um, but uh, what was I saying? Uh, yeah, I guess Tallulah must be quite excited, Martin. Yeah, she is. Yeah, very excited. It'll be nice. Yeah, yeah. Um, Martin is slightly mm, less than excited about it. What, about the date? Uh, you don't approve of Reginald? I don't know, there's something a bit weird about him. I don't know what. Oh, well, he seems nice enough. I mean, he's fallen on a hard time, so it's hard to compare him with, I don't know, um, uh, other people we, we might meet regularly. I mean, uh, he's probably quite traumatised from being out out living rough for so long. I mean, they do seem to have a natural chemistry, or at least that's what I hear. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It sort of agrees, though. Yes. Yes, I do. There's something not quite right about him. Oh, really? Oh, well, I've not met him many times, but he seems OK. I'm sure they'll have a lovely time. Oh, by the way, I, I, I brought this with me. It's for you, Ick. Oh, what's this? A Valentine's pool? Oh, how lovely. Uh, no, well, it's, it's not exactly a, a Valentine's. Oh, you don't want to be my Valentine? No, I'm sad. Ick, come on. Oh, sorry, Paul. What is it? It's uh, it's just some chocolates and a bottle of wine to, to say thank you. Thank you for what? Uh, one of, the, one of uh, our episodes recently, um, uh, there's one where you're in it uh, a great deal. And uh, it had had some wonderful downloads, you know, more than double of any other episode around that time. And uh, so I just wanted to say thank you because I think people will probably listen to it because you were in it. And uh, yeah, here, so here are some chocolates and, and and a bottle of wine. Oh yes, Paul. Oh how nice. Uh, what episode was that? Uh, what episode was that? Um, it's uh, uh oh. Um, I'm trying to think of the number. No, but what was it about? I'm trying to think. What episode have I been in recently? Where I've been sent to stage? Um, uh, no, there are plenty. Uh, for a while, Paul. What are the ones about Radio Town FM? Hmm. I'm not sure. I'm very happy about those. I feel a bit awkward about the whole situation. No, no, it, it was another one. Um... Oh, I'll check and let you know. Anyway, um, uh, I just wanted to say thank you because uh, people have been listening to uh, the episode and uh, they liked it and, and, and it's, it's all because of you. Is it now? Well, thank you. <laughs> I hope you enjoy them. I'm sure I will. Well, why don't I open the wine? Are you able to stay, Paul? Are you? Uh, uh, yeah. What about you, Martin? You staying for a bit longer? Yeah, uh, yeah, may as well. Uh, you know, Mum's going to be out at least until the early evening, and yeah. I'm sure you're to lose him too, Paul. Well, yeah. I mean, the rest of the episode's probably going to be about Tallulah and and, and Reginald. So, uh, huh, yeah, uh, um, <laughs> I'm I'm free. Good, good. Well, I've got some bits and pieces in the fridge. I'll do us a spot of lunch. Oh, that would, that would be marvellous. Good. Yes. It's nice. We're going to catch up. You're going to tell me all about the episodes you've been releasing. 
Well, there's ones that don't involve me. Uh, uh, um. Uh, don't worry about it, Paul. <laughs> He's just winding you up. Yeah. Um, I mean, he has been in quite a lot of episodes recently, but probably not centre stage. Well, not in a positive way. Ah, uh, yeah. Don't let him wind you up. Uh, I, 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 I don't want to be wound up, but it's difficult. I know, Paul. I know. Oh, dear. You know, there's only another, what, two and a half, three months before, before his contract runs out. Oh, Paul, it'll be fine. He's not going anywhere. Are you sure of that? Has he said that to you? Well, no, but... No, he's part of the team. He's not going to go off shooting into space. What if he gets a better offer? What, what if he gets, you know, an offer from somebody else? Like a, a podcast on Pluto or something? Oh, I don't know. I think it's unlikely, Paul. Don't worry about it. Uh, I, I'd like not to, but uh, I am... I wonder how, uh, I wonder how Reginald and Tallulah are getting on. Actually, I wonder how, I wonder how Cromarty and Yeti Uncle John are getting on. Uh, what, what do you mean? <laughs> They're sort of going on a date. A date? Them two? Well, Cromarty, um, it's just they went for fish and chips and Reginald thought that was a date and, well, I, I, I don't worry about it. <laughs> now I'm interested. What is going on? Uh, I, I thought that's what I was wondering. Taking me out for fish and chips. Uh, oh, I I didn't realise that I was taking you out. I thought you were going halves. Oh, uh, yeah, yes. No, we. Well, I haven't got any money with me. I, I, I sorry. I thought it was your treat. Oh no, it's fine. It is. I was only teasing. Oh, oh great. Yes. Uh, yes. No, that's not. Can't, you can't. You can't be a good fish and chips, can you? No, no, you can't. No, you can't. No. Uh -huh. Oh dear, oh dear. Um, uh, have you done something with your hair, Cromarty? Have I done something with my hair? Well, well, I, I did spray a little bit of something on it. I, I, I've been using it on Reginald to smarten him up, and uh, I, I had a little squirt myself. Oh, it smells nice. That's oh, nice. You, you're looking good. <laughs> Thank you, the Uncle John. So what about this whole business with Milo? Why aren't you seeing him, like, today? Because he's busy. Oh, well, it's, it's a bad state of affairs when your own friend can't, you know, take you out. You can say it to Uncle John. He's my boyfriend. Yeah, I know that. I mean, he's not been a very good one, though, is he? Well... It's fine. It's, I, I, I'm quite fine with the situation. I don't want to start. I don't want to discuss it. Uh, I'm still upset about what Eek said. Oh, no, I wouldn't want to upset you. I just, you know, uh, 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 I love your property and I, I, I don't want to see you messed about. He's not messing me about. I know he's very busy. I, I knew that from the start. Yes, yes, well, well, he's missing out. And, uh, his loss is my gain. Well, thank you, Yeti Uncle John. You, you look quite dapper yourself. Oh, dapper, thank you. Um, dapper, not sexy? <laughs> dapper and sexy. Oh, now you're talking. Uh, talking about dapper, uh, you did a good job on Reginald. Well, you know, uh, underneath um, those uh, sort of uh, the battered clothes, he's quite a handsome older guy. Yeah, he is, isn't he? Yeah, pretty nice. Uh, I hope things go well with him and Tallulah. I oh, think we're so excited in the car. But we picked up Tallulah. Oh, she was uh, buzzing, wasn't she? Yes, it's good to see her like that. After all she's been through. Good to see her looking cheerful. Uh, yeah. Um, I hope they're having a good meal. 
I hope so too. I'm sure they will be. Won't be as good as this meal though, Cromarty. <laughs> well, maybe there might be a few more red roses and maybe a kiss on the cheek. Oh, I can get you some roses and a kiss on the cheek if you like. Kitty Uncle John, stop it now. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, I do like spending time with you, Cromarty. Oh, dear, we, we make each other laugh, don't we? We do. Yes, we do. Uh, will we be picking them up after the meal? I can't remember what you said. Uh, well, uh, it depends what the weather's like. They did say they might go for a little walk along the river after they've eaten. But, uh, but I know what it's like when you go to Kapow. Especially if you have the buffet, you get full and then you can't walk anywhere. Yes, but not everyone's like you yet, Uncle John. Yes, well, you know, I'm unique. You are unique. It's very unique. Oh dear, I think I'm full. Uh, would you like my sausage? You what? My, my battered sausage. I can't possibly manage it. I've eaten far too much. Oh, I never said no to a sausage. Oh, yes. Uh, is it a cinematic sausage? <laughs> I think it might be. Uncle Warren would be proud of us. Oh, yes. Oh, Warren. <laughs> oh, yeah. I haven't seen him for a while. Oh, he'll be around soon, I'm sure. I miss him too. Yes, yes. I've gone all dizzy now. Uh, right, uh, I'll have your sausage, thank you. Okay, good, do. Nice. I wonder if I might have left room for some ice cream. Or ice cream at this time of year? Oh, ice cream, you can eat ice cream any time of the year. I guess so. Well, uh, well I wouldn't say no. I mean, if you're buying. Of course, I'm buying for you, yet, Uncle John. Always. Oh, thank you. So, uh, yeah, I think um, we'll hear from them, or we won't hear from them. Uh, and if they need a lift, we'll still be nearby. Yes, just down the road in Adelston. It won't take us long to get back to Weybridge. No, no. Uh, uh, oh, let me tuck into this sausage. <laughs> uh, I, I don't suppose Tallulah's having any sausage. I mean, I, I, I don't suppose that's what she's eating. No, no. I wonder what they are having. date today. Uh, it's all a bit whirlwind, isn't it? Oh, it is, my darling, but I like it. The food's so nice here. It's nice, isn't it? A buffet dinner. You can have a bit of everything. You can. It's a good suggestion. And uh, nice of you to Uncle John to arrange that discount. Yes. Oh, Tallulah. Oh. Oh, stop it now. Oh, Reginald. You're making eyes at me. I, I am, but uh, I can't believe we're sitting here face to face. Oh, oh, Reginald. Oh, it does feel like we've known each other a long time. Yes, but in a way we have. I mean, for months at least. Yes, yes. I knew from the first time I saw you. Uh, I knew that we'd met before. Yes, in quite a strange circumstance. But still, things are different now. You can see me, well, how I really am, at least how I am now. I know, and I like it. I wasn't sure I, I would do, but I do, and, well, I, 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 I know, I know who you are. I know who you are. I, I, I don't think I knew your name was Reginald all that time when we were together. I, uh, I probably didn't introduce myself properly. Sometimes even I don't know who I am. Oh, Reginald. Oh, I'm so happy being here with you. I don't think everybody approves of me. Your son, for instance. Well, Martin's just very protective of me. Yes. 
Yes, but if he doesn't like me as I am now, how do you think he's going to feel when he realizes what I am, who I am, where I come from? You mean when he realizes that you were the demon who possessed me for all those months? Well, yes. Yes. I, I, I don't think that uh, he's going to like that one little bit. There's no reason you should know, Reginald. You're quite different. When we were living together, when we first met, you know, it didn't work out, did it? No, no, our personalities clashed. It really brought the demon out in me. But I, well, I don't want to go into it, but I, I needed... I, I needed the strength to, to uh, you know, make me stronger. Um, well, I don't know a lot about demons, but I know that's how they work sometimes. But I know the, the two of our personalities, they, they, they didn't work well together. No, which is why it was for the best that uh, we were separated, even though at the time I didn't realise it. I know, and you went bursting out of my cellar. Oh, I'm very sorry about that, my dear. I'm very sorry. I, I, I didn't mean to break anything. It's okay. It's okay. But, uh, oh, the first time I met you at that magpie naming ceremony, I knew it was you. <laughs> it's strange. Bettina said I'd meet a man um, whose name began with R and I'd fall in love with him. Well, uh, and I met you. How do you recall Reginald? But then I realised you weren't just a man. I realised I knew you. Um, and I already had feelings for you because uh, although we didn't get on well, we were very close in our quiet moments. We were. We were, Tadula. But I don't want to cause trouble with your family. I can't believe we are sitting here having this conversation so casually. Oh, uh, it's because we've known each other so long. I mean, you know... The one is possessed by a demon. You know, it, it does kind of force you together, doesn't it? it? It does. Yes, it does. But we can't tell your family. We can't tell your friends. We needn't. Well, we, well, we needn't. All right, then. But we'll continue dating. Well, of course we will, my darling. And we'll tell people when we're ready. All right, then. Oh, well, are we going to have anything more to eat? Or would you like to go for that walk along the river? I'd love to go for a walk on the river. You can hold hands. That would be marvellous. Oh, Tallulah, I can't believe I've met you in that, well, after our rather strange beginnings, we things are working out so well now. Yes, they are, my darling. Oh, my darling Reginald. What do you think about moving in? Moving in, my dear? Yes, you know, into the music school. I mean, we don't have to share a room. There are plenty of spare rooms. But what will your son think? Oh, well, let me work on him. Are you OK at the Magpie Hut for a few days longer? Of course I am, yes. If the Uncle John depends on me. All right, then. All right, I'll see what I can do. Come on, now, let's go and pay the bill, and then we'll go for that walk. Marvellous. Marvellous. Listeners, that's what we've got time for. Uh, I'm waiting to hear from Tallulah or or Reginald either <laughs> um, about how their about how their date went. I'm actually waiting to hear how lunch went with uh, with Cromartini and Uncle John. Uh, I'm sure all will be revealed soon. But uh, anyway, okay. Well, you take care. Um, join us again soon. Uh, it's not been too bad, has it? Love is in the air. But, uh, yeah, he hasn't been too cloying and sickly, I don't think. Uh, there's been a few surprises. Um, yeah, lunch with Ick and Martin went okay. Martin, you know, he gets on with Ick, but he understands, and he's very sympathetic to my problems with Ick at the moment, and the whole contract. Um, yeah, there was a few passive-aggressive moments from Ick, but uh, mostly we were okay. Um, 
I, I bet uh, Bettina and August are on their way on the Eurostar by now. Uh, to, uh, yeah, it's just uh, just the others we haven't heard from yet, but uh, we'll probably hear from them after the theme tune. So you take care, and uh, I hope you've had a, a wonderful Valentine's or, or not, uh, whatever you prefer. And uh, and we'll be back soon. So you take care, and um, yeah, bye bye for now. Okay, bye bye, bye now. both you're both here i didn't know yes uh, we, we uh, got back from our fish and chips a bit early we've been uh, well we've just been watching tv <laughs> yeah oh oh good that's nice what what did you watch oh um well we just flicked the channels uh i i, I can't quite remember yeah we were just chatting and stuff and uh yeah oh great and uh Fish and chips, was it? Good? Yes, yes. And an ice cream sundae to finish. Probably gave me his sausage. That's nice. Um, uh, you couldn't manage it. It was too big for me. Too big. I couldn't, I could not manage it. Um, yet your Uncle John had two. He had his own and mine. Well, that doesn't surprise me. Um, but he had a nice time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's been great. I suppose I better go back to the Magpie Hut. Have you heard anything from uh, Tallulah and um, and Reginald? Uh, Well, they didn't need us to pick them up anyway. Uh, I guess they must have gone for their walk. I mean, if they walked far enough, they uh, might have got back to the Magpie Hut. But Tallulah might need a lift home later, I suppose. Uh, Maybe I should give her a call and find out. I mean, Martin must be about somewhere. Oh, yes, how did your uh, lunch go with Ick? Well, well, this is what I was going to say. Martin was there. Um... And we had lunch, and uh, but when I left, Martin was still there, so maybe they called him instead. Oh, for a lift. Yeah. Uh, what are you up to now, Paul? Um, just going to go and have a lie down in my room, I think. Oh, right, yes. Yeah. Are you going to go and see if Reginald's back at the Magpie Hut? Uh, yeah, in a minute. Uh, yeah, Cromarty and I uh, just uh, just going to uh, just going to finish chatting. All right, all right, okay. Yes, Paul. I'll I'll make some tea in a bit. All right, that's great. Great. Okay. <laughs> oh dear, he nearly caught us, didn't he? <laughs> nearly caught us, yet, Uncle John. We were only having a cuddle. We always cuddle. Yeah, no, but I, I feel a bit strange if he sees us. Uh, you know. He, he, oh dear, oh dear. You were blushing. No, it's nothing. You know, everyone likes a cuddle. Yes, I like a cuddle too. Still, no. What would Milo think if he knew you were cuddling? It's none of his business. We're cuddling as friends. Yes, yes, that's right. Cuddling as friends. Oh, dear. I oh, want another one before I go. Yes, go on then. Right. Come on then, let's have a couple. Oh, yes, young yes, John. You're the best cuddler I know. It's been good, but yeah, definitely time to come home now. Wow. Real. No. Shit. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. And yes, yeah, goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. This show is part of the Pride 48 Network. Find more shows over at pride48.com. I have a voice. I have a voice. You have a voice. You have a voice. We have a voice. We have a voice. 
Unique voices in podcasting. Univospods.net. Hello. Uh, Tallulah Twinklehorn, how can I help? Tallulah, it's just me, Paul. I was just calling to find out how the date went. Oh, it was marvellous, Paul, marvellous. I had a splendid time. Uh, we were just wondering if you needed picking up or or did you find your own way back? Oh, yes, I did. Um, well, um, oh, we had our lovely meal and then we had a little walk by the river and um, then I, I, well, I had a phone call from Martin and he came and picked us up. Reginald's still here with me now. Oh, oh, great. I guess Uncle John was wondering whether he should go back to the magpie hut. Oh, well, I, 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 I think Reginald will be going back to the magpie hut later, but... Uh, um, yeah, he's staying for tea, so, yes. Oh, that's nice. And you you had a lovely lunch? Absolutely. I had the buffet. I was full. Um, but, uh, we, we talked, yes. Good. You're getting on OK? Yes, Paul. I mean, <laughs> I suppose you should be the first to know. Um, we're officially dating. Reginald Pipes is my boyfriend now. Oh, lovely. Lovely. So it's gone really well. It has, Paul. Very well indeed. Oh, I'm so pleased for you. So pleased for you. And, um, well, is Reginald going to stay living at the the Magpie Hut? Well, Paul, Martin's not in the room, but uh, I'm hoping that I can get Reginald to come and live here. But I need Martin to be, you know, uh, uh, to approve. Yeah, well, I think he's just very protective of you. Um, but I'm sure he'll grow to really like Reginald. Yes, I, I'm sure he will. Uh, anyway, I better go, Paul. All right. I'm glad you had a lovely time. I could pass Reginald over if you like. I, I, I could, could do. Um, I know he's not a big conversationalist. Oh, he is with me. Well, yes, but you two are special. Oh, we are, aren't we? Reginald, it's Paul. Hello, Paul. How are you? You reminded me of somebody then. Your, your voice. Oh, yes. Who? A friend of ours called Tremaine. Don't know why. Um, but, uh, no. Good date? Very good, yes. Very good indeed. I'm very happy. Did you hear? We're an item now. Yes, that's very good news. I'm very happy. Good. We're just, you know, trying to uh, spend time with Martin and, well... Yes, I uh, I heard. Uh, I'm, I'm sure he'll come round. I mean, not that he hasn't come round. Well, I do sense that he, you know, he's very protective of his mother, and I understand that. But, uh, yes. Well, I'm sure it'll work out fine. Thank you, Paul. Have you had a good day? Yes, I had lunch with Martin and Ick. Oh, yes, he mentioned. Uh, uh, well, I'll say goodbye. All right, say goodbye to Tallulah for me. I will. Bye now. Bye. Uh, uh, Reginald, uh, tea's ready. Oh, thank you, Martin. Uh, were you planning to stay over tonight, or are you going back to the Magpie Hut? I can give you a, a lift back later, if you like. Uh, oh, no, I was going to go back to the Magpie Hut, of course. I just wasn't sure. You know, now you're a couple, you and Mum... <laughs> it's all happened so quickly, hasn't it? Oh, uh, well, you know, uh, it's uh, 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 no, no reason to rush. No, I should be going back to the Magpie Hut, uh, if that's OK. Yeah, it's fine. I can take you back straight after tea, if you like. Well, you know, uh, whatever's good. Yeah, that suits me. Oh, uh, right, yes, OK, well, um, uh, I'll, I'll be there in a minute. I'll just get your mother. All right. I mean, I can do that. No, no, it's fine. All right, then. I'll see you, uh, in, see you in the kitchen. Yes. Uh, Tallulah? Tallulah? Oh, my darling, is it tea time? It is, yes. Martin just called me in. He's going to take me back straight after tea. Straight after tea? Yes, he seems keen that, uh, you know... Oh, darling. He did ask if I'd be staying over, but I said, no, of course not. Oh, well, you know, he'll get used to it. Yes, he'll get used to it. But will he get used to the truth, Tallulah? 
No, we don't need to tell him the truth. He doesn't need to know about that. No, no, I suppose not. But I don't like lying to people. No, but it's not. It's not. It's, you know, it'll be fine. It'll be fine, my darling. I, I, I believe you, Tarula. I, I believe you. It'll be fine. It'll all be fine. Uh, what will be fine? Uh, I'm just saying to Tarula that uh, I'll be going home after, uh, after, after tea. It's very lovely of you to take him home, dear. Uh, no problem. No, no problem. <laughs> you two whispering in corners. <laughs> you think you were trying to keep secrets? No, don't be silly, my dear. No, no, not at all. Well, let's have tea. Oh, yes, let's have tea. Uh, all right then. <laughs> Come on through. Uh, yeah. Whispering in corners. Mm. Something's going on. <laughs> More than they're saying, anyway. Mm. Six hundred thirty 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 six hund